Hi everyone, I'm Katie. Uh, this is the first time I put myself in my videos, so hi, nice to meet you all. Um, I just thought I'd do a garden update video because the weather is quite nice out today and there are a few updates in my garden, so let's get started and start with inside. Um, I've got those are my bee bombs that I've been so proud of. They're getting quite a bit larger. They're still tiny, but very proud of them. I started a few more artichokes. Those are these ones. And then there's some basil, some dill, chives. Nothing too exciting over there. And then my sunflowers. I started some of these inside. They're really tall ones. I, well, not really tall. They're supposed to be about, I think, six to eight feet. And they have huge flowers, lots of seeds. I saved the seeds from last year. I'll look up the name and try to put a little note on the video here. These ones are the cabbage and broccoli that I started um, just after my other ones outside in the garden died. So I have to replace them. So these are their replacements. I'm going to let them get quite a bit bigger before I put them outside this time. Um, but oh, I've got my idiot proof basil kit, as I call it. And it's doing very well. I may have a few too many seeds in there. Uh, I don't know. Give me your opinions. Do you think I should thin them out? Think Well, if you have any ideas of what I should do with this or if it looks okay, let me know. I've never grown basil from seed before. I usually buy it as a plant from the nursery. Those are some artichokes I started in January. And those are some lettuce seedlings that I'm kind of experimenting. I've, I've started them from seed before and then put them outside and they've done fine. But I'm wondering if I do them from seed and let them grow quite a bit bigger before I put them outside, if they're going to do any better or not. So those are my experimental ones. Um, my Christmas cactus, I know it's not a vegetable or anything, but I just thought I'd point out. I'm so proud of this little guy. It's actually starting to, it's kind of hard to tell the color difference here, but this leaf is new and it's got little pink buds starting. Yeah, so it's probably going to rebloom, which apparently isn't uncommon for Christmas cactuses, but I usually kill them, so I'm very happy that that's worked out so far. These are my replacement tomatoes for all the ones that I killed. These ones are black crim. And under on this side are my gypsy peppers, which are oops, just starting to germinate. Oh, my son's awake. I can hear him talking in his crib. Oh well. Those are my snapdragons. And I'm going to have to stop this video before going outside so I can check on my son. Say hi. No. No. Okay, can mommy keep going with her garden video? Say yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Just want to start off in my random bulb garden. Um, all of these bulbs were, I guess, in the ground when I moved in and I didn't know what they were. And so now they're flowering and I know, like obviously those are daffodils. I planted those though, so I knew those would be there. Um, but I don't know what these are called. If anyone knows what those are, could you let me know? Because I've got them all over my property and I will be digging up some of them in the fall. So I thought I'd put an ad on Craigslist and give them away as opposed to just throwing them in the green waste. Because they are really pretty, they're just not in the spots that I want them. So if you know what these things are, there's white ones and there's blue ones. They seem to... Yeah, and then I got my tulips. Uh, and my roto. Anyways, let's take a look at my tomatoes. Oh, Tinker. Say hi, Tinks. Meow. Meow. Yeah. i uh, start with my lettuce, actually. My lettuce has grown quite a bit. It kind of gets smaller as you go down here, though. Look at that little guy. He hasn't grown at all. What's up with that? Who knows? And then the same on this side. They go small and they get bigger at the end. Weird stuff. Oh, well. I really need to clean up this deck. This is looking kind of white trashy, I guess, but 
Oh well, uh, I just want to try to protect them from the wind a little bit, right? Because we've had so many windstorms, and if I put them out in my yard, they'll completely blow away, so. But my tomatoes are looking better. Is it a little close up? I mean, they're still not fantastic, but they've come back from back from the dead. This one's looking probably the healthiest out of all my tomatoes so far. Kind of sad. Yeah. And we've got some really sad looking ones in here. But, yeah. If they don't work, that's okay. I've got another set of tomatoes inside. Black cream tomatoes waiting to come out. Isn't that pretty? Random miscellaneous tulip. I didn't plant it there. I don't know how it got there. Strawberry but it looks spinach. It's kind of growing. Not much. Still little baby leaves. My rhubarb. See, my second one finally came up. Um, the cucumbers and stuff that I had um, back here, they died completely. I planted some marigolds around the edges. And they're tiny, but they're, right now they're tiny, but they're going to be, I think they're called Sahara Mixed, so they're like eight inches tall or something when they get to blooming. Got some carrots in here. Actually, this green that you're seeing is actually green onions. I kind of planted rows within the squares. I don't know, I forgot the idea behind square foot gardening, I suppose, and so... There's rows inside the squares, carrots and green onions, radishes and carrots, and I've got a little chart inside that says what kind of carrots, but uh, I've got three different kinds of carrots in this garden. There's another square with carrots in it. Now those ones are just regular big old orange carrots. The ones in here I think might be Thumbelina carrots, little tiny ones. The ones in here are probably purple carrots, but I don't know. Uh, I, I have to check my chart. Nasturtiums are kind of dying. The beans, some of them have died. Some of them are still hanging on there, but I'll probably pull them out and start again. Um, what are these little guys? Borage. Mm, bachelor buttons. And some bee balm. My two little cabbage plants that just don't want to die. He's holding on. I thought he was dead. I thought this guy was dead. But they just keep going. So we'll see how long they can go for. My spinach is starting to put out its real leaves. And cilantro. Kale. And that's the only broccoli that's left and I think it's going to die soon. All the other four broccolis that I put in died, so that's why I've got the ones inside. And my Brussels sprouts and red cabbage that I got from the nursery are looking good. Um, just today my husband and I had to fix our square, or our raised beds because these boards actually fell off. Um, I would advise if anyone has built their, their garden beds the same way, like this, to make sure that you do put two of the screws in. Um, we used one and then it actually snapped off on all three of the places. So that was just a quick fix. We're going to actually come back and do some better screws and stuff in there. Yeah, and then I planted some purple asparagus over in this bed, which is covered in cherry blossoms. But nothing's come up yet, so we'll just kind of Ignore that. Let's see if I've got any peas coming up over here yet. And it doesn't look like it. But yeah, so that's my video for this week. And hopefully the weather continues to be nice like this so that we'll have some more updates for next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.